Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the Covenant hero worshippers of outcasts capture the keep in the arid desert dunes of Brimstone Sands. And the champs fail to answer the bell, yielding the heavyweight title to the syndicate members of Fresh Bench. A prearranged affair, KOTT was provided a rare opportunity to speak with the vanquished about the matter. Sorry about the outcome tonight over in mere moments here in Everfall. Would you care to take us through the rationale? One presumes your forces are otherwise engaged in their offensive efforts tonight. We did not have the full roster we'd hope tonight, but that's okay. We went in there and we had a lot of fun. We spoke to Fresh Bench beforehand too, and they were very respectful about it. Really cool. Um, we're happy to lose to them. They're, they're cool dudes, and there's nothing wrong with that. We pulled in what we could, and we gave it a good try, and we're still working on getting our war roster up to snuff, you know. We're trying to do it organically, slowly over time, rather than do anything unfun, right? And we're just happy that this that Everfall's kind of back in the rotation of ownership. Uh, it was kind of stagnant here for a while, right? And we think that territory should have turnover. We're looking forward to maybe declaring on Fresh Bench later. KOTT Entertainment reporting the Year of the Dragon celebration continues with a concert in the park live performance from Fortune's Crossing tonight at 8 server time. Come join renowned musical lyricist Lord Bob Ross as he gives one final performance before going on tour out east to join the Musket Union. Three rosters submitted for tonight's simulated fantasy combat resolution, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Tonight, the syndicate members of Scums attack the zealots of Waffle House for control of the rain-drenched mountain region of Morningdale. Scums have had a taste of great house status and they want some more so they set out to the northeastern regions for a fresh stack of waffles. But these waffles don't come in stacks because then they start to kind of look like pancakes. And everyone knows, if it isn't waffles, it's pancakes. Meanwhile, the marauders of Pharma assail the covenant hero worshipers of outcasts for control of the legendary resort hot pot in Ebenscale Reach. Pharma forces executing their right to rematch, hoping to focus their attention on maintaining the free-range tiger sanctuaries scattered throughout the region. Outcasts take a night on the defense, intent on maintaining their hold on the brief seasonal specialties presented during the Year of the Dragon celebration. Also, the zealots of witchers assault the vault of JDB's kitchen, attempting to steal away the island's financial securities in the central vault. Witchers secure the right to challenge JDB for regional control for the fifth night in a row, but will any outcome match the thrill of the first night? JDB's kitchen staff may have made official statements about the health of the community, but that does not increase the likelihood of them relinquishing control of the central exchange. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.